इंडिया हार्ड ब्रेक इन द क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल्स अ भगवद गीता परस्पेक्टिव इंडिया वॉज द मोस्ट डोमिनेंट टीम थ्रू आउट द क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप विनिंग टेन आउट ऑफ टेन मैच एंड एन सम हाउ जस्ट वेन इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट वी वुड ट्राइम्फ इंडिया हार्ड ब्रेकिंगली लॉस्ट सो हाउ डू वी सी दिस फ्रॉम अ भगवद गीता परस्पेक्टिव आई टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ थ्री एफ्स factors facts and fortitude factors the bhagavad gita states in its 18th chapter that there are five factors which determine the success of any action adhishthanam tatha karta karanam cha prathak vidha vividha cha prathak cheshta daivam chaivatra panchamam so it states in 1814 that these five factors are adhishthanam adhishthanam is the field of action so in the context of a cricket match it refers to the place where the match is being played that's the pitch karta karta is of course the player karanam cha prathak vidha it refers to the specific instruments tools that are used the senses then vividha cha prathak cheshta cheshta refers to endeavor that refers to the practice and the temperament and the presence of mind the grit of the players so the endeavor that they are putting in and beyond that daivam chaiva trapanchamam destiny is the fifth factor and now if you consider in terms of cricket context we know that the adhishthan the the setting the field of action the place where the action is there the pitch plays a significant role then karanam the particular sensory instruments they play a significant they play an important role also when a player is playing at that time their specific sensory instruments that is their hands their legs they need to be fit their eyes need to be sharp and of course karta the player is there endeavor matters even if a person has talent what is their temperament how much is their commitment to practice all that matters and beyond all this is the your destiny there are factors completely beyond our control which say for example rains come and wash out a match so the bhag in this context if we consider the pitch could and should have been something which worked in india's favor it was on home territory the world cup was in india but somehow the way the toss went and the pitch behaved significantly differently in the first half and the second half and it was very difficult for the batsmen to bat on the bowlers got a lot of purchase on the pitch and that worked against and then if we consider the ever it seems that almost every time whenever indian players try to play an aggressive shot that worked against them they got out whereas when the australian players took similar risks that seemed to succeed for them the australian captain made certain bowling changes and they each time those changes were made they worked the indian captain made similar changes and those didn't work so now this is just a quick analysis we could go further into the point of analyzing factors the key principle is that the bhagavad gita states ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalahe turbo this is the well known 247 verse it says that we don't consider ourselves the cause of the results of action why because we alone are not the producers of the results our endeavors matter but our endeavors are not all that matters so in terms of factors sometimes some factors beyond our control may not work our way and the second point is facts so the just because some factors didn't work our way doesn't mean the facts change the facts are that the current indian team is probably the best in the world the best that india has ever had in terms of batting strength in terms of bowling excellence so nothing needs to be taken away from the players for as far as their preparation and their diligence is concerned they had a bad day and everybody sometimes does that so sometimes certain moments seem to be much more important than others 
and when how one performs in those moments will be seen by the world but the world's vision is external and short lived the factual reality is that that the players had a laudable tournament overall if you look in the ramayan when lord ram's coronation was to take place he was the most qualified person to be coronated and then suddenly a conspiracy happened a uh, set of factors worked mantra influence kai kai and lord ram was exiled now he didn't become the king but that did not change the fact that he was the best person to be the king now of course many things happened and 14 years later he was coronated eventually now at that time 14 years seemed to be an unbearably long time for everyone especially uh, those who were devoted to ram the citizens of lanka as well as the some other like uh, kaushalya and others now it was while the specifics are widely different it was expected that this world cup was the time when india would be coronated as the world cup champion and suddenly things went wrong and we don't have any kai kai or mantra to blame over here but the fact is just as lord ram was the most qualified person to be the king similarly the players who are the best they remain the best even if they have a off day even if circumstances somehow conspire against them to not give them what what would be considered to be the right field due and that brings us to the last point fortitude fortitude means resilience patience persistence generally we have a short term vision of things we look at the present and then we look at the future and we want to take ourselves from the present to the future which is just a natural way of looking at things but that's the human plan from the present to the future the divine plan it looks at the future and plans the present so whatever we may think we know what is good for us but god knows what is the best for us and that is why the bhagavad gita says don't get too elated when there is success and don't get too dejected when there is failure dukkheshu anudvigna manaha sukheshu vigata spruha why because happiness and distress they come and go but there is a higher plan working in everyone's life and there is a higher purpose that is being pursued so who knows what this particular setback and even heartbreak what doors it will open in the future and where it will take us so rather than making absolute judgments based on the present outcomes we can keep ourselves open to see what the future has in store and that positive approach to life toward the future is the basis of fortitude the pandavas they suffered enormously now of course the specifics of the sufferings in the epics may not be comparable with the specifics of reversals in a or failures in a, a sporting tournament but the principles remain the same it is the same human heart with its aspirations and with its apprehensions it is the same human beings who make choices and have to live with the consequences so beyond the specifics of whether it was a war or whether it was a sports what this bhagavad gita what the mahabharata the ramayana they talk about is the human spirit and what it longs for so by remembering that reality is far bigger than what we can perceive that we can have the fortitude so we pray that all those cricket fans as well as the cricket players who are suffering from the setback right now get the inner strength get the spiritual wisdom to face this with gravitas with grace and move on to whatever brighter future awaits